Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Blank guns. Blank gun, blank gun, blank, blank. we have riders that want to take part in the train robbery and of course don't come prepared with a prop gun like this and indeed that's what they're good for some months back i did a video on non-firing replica revolvers this came up because in some countries or venues real firearms are not permitted in the movie industry sometimes it comes down to cost it's cheaper to use a dummy gun and add the fire and smoke later at the time, I purchased a Denix brand for my job and it serves me well. As you all have seen on the channel, a six gun to me is like a fidget spinner and my hand just goes to it. During historical talks, the darn thing launches itself out of my holster, does a fancy spin, then goes back. Also, if it happens to fall during all that, well, at least it's not the expensive real McCoy. Our stunt team uses blank guns in their shows. Last year, the only cost-effective ones available to them were manufactured by Bruni in Italy. They fire a crimped blank and the barrel is plugged. The cylinders are shortened so they side vent all the fire and smoke. In the 80s, I had a 22 starter pistol that did the same thing. For all intents and purposes, the blank gun does a good job. However, they aren't made for the rigors our gunfighters put them through. The Bruni six-shooters have a cylinder that doesn't always lock up and the action isn't dependable. In fact, some of our actors altered their guns so they would operate better. You did some modifications to that, right? Mm -hmm. Other gun manufacturers make blank guns that are not far from the price of real ones. There's always something to deal with, though. For instance, in some, the cylinders aren't removable, which can make for difficulty in maintenance. In countries like the United Kingdom, their gun laws restrict their reenactors to using blank guns or muzzle loaders. So, for the Frontier cartridge revolvers, Companies like Schmidt, PFC, Uberti, and others make nice blank firers. Once again, they cost a lot of money. However, it's not limited to six guns. There are modern revolvers, semi-autos, and long guns to choose from. After a long absence, Kiapa restocked a blank gun originally manufactured by Kimar. Their website calls it the Single Action Blank Revolver, but it can be found at other locations as the Old West M1873. The action is superior to the Bruni, and the metal quality is much better. So far, it's held up well to what the stunt folks put them through. In that non-firing replica video, I mentioned my high-quality Marushin, which is now in retirement. The action and metal composition in that one is very similar to the Kiapa, and I understand some of the parts are even interchangeable. Well, I got one. They also come in nickel, but I opted for the black one. The blanks are crimped and put out a fair amount of smoke and a big bang. These are fun to spin and shoot, and they feel better to me than the Denix. The only thing I'm not crazy about is the medallion on the grips. It looks like a letter from the Klingon alphabet, so that will have to change. Who knows, I might go crazy and make new grips for it. Let us eat. Oh my greed, tea and pivots. I'll take a double whopper with cheese and a large fries. Well, there you have it. There are links in the description field for some of these blank guns, should the need arise. Whether you use real or fake guns, remember, you're keeping the Old West alive, and I thank you for doing it. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail. <laughs> Not again. Don't, don't shoot the camera. Here's a blank gun. Yeah.